Bolts first Leafs game four. I didn't do video for game three because I was at game three Saturday night with Ms. Shooter and we had to go get some food afterwards. And by the time I got home, it was past midnight. And I was not going to make a video about a very sad blown lead in the last minute of the game and overtime where we looked pretty good throughout overtime and then blew it at the end. And here we are game four looking great. And we blow a three goal lead in the third period and lose it in overtime. I, I feel like we only had one shot in overtime by the captain and it wasn't even a good one. This was rough. First period, I think the Bolts are looking awesome. Great first five minutes. We had possession, seems like the whole time in Toronto zone, but we only pulled off two shots on net in that first five minutes where we pretty much dominated. Sorelli gets the early cross check call, so the Bolts go shorthanded, but Hagel steals the puck and gets tripped on a breakaway, and it's a penalty shot, the first ever in Tampa Bay Lightning playoff history, but denied Samson off with a huge save. Uh, I kind of wish Hagel deked a little bit, but Hagel's a shooter. He took a shot. He got stopped. Sergi blocked a shot early in that first period. Uh, by the way, shout out to the boys for starting to block shots. I called him out after game two for not doing that. Sergi blocked a shot, could not even get off the ice, came back shortly afterwards. And really, game three, we did a great job blocking shots. And we had a lot of block shots in this game. I wish we had a couple more, and we'll talk about that later. Alex Kaloran ends up getting the first goal of the game. That's a power play goal for Killer. A perfect pass by Cooch to set that one up. Anyone could have scored that goal, but it was playoff Killer that was activated. We know he didn't score a goal the entire playoffs last season, but hey, now our guy Killer's back, and it seemed like he had a magnet in his stick. He seemed like he had the puck all first period. I felt like he should have had a hat trick in the first period, and boy, I wish he did have a hat trick in the first period. By the way, Sergachev comes back and scores a goal. Shout out to Kucherov, who was dealing the puck for those two assists in that first period, and the Bolts are up 2-0 after the first, but I'll tell you what. It should have been 4 nothing at least after that first period where they dominated pressure on the penalty kill. The four check was there the entire period. They were breaking out quickly, not turning over the puck, and that seemed to go down, 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 downhill for the rest of the game. Second period starts in Akari with the deflection. There's really not much that Bassey can do about these deflections. Um, they had a bunch of them this game, and those are almost unstoppable. Akari's was perfect. A lot of people are going to talk about how Hagel could not bury that penalty shot, but there was a play in the second period where that puck was about to cross the goal line, and the Toronto defender, uh, by the way, a rookie defender, pulls it off the line, and that prevented the Bolts from going up 3-1 early in the second period. The Lightning get back to their game. Hedman slings one over to Stamkos, who deflects it in. Finally, giving these guys a taste of their own medicine with some of these deflections. And then Killer comes back. I told you he had a magnet in his stick tonight, and he sniped a beauty. And the Bolts are up 4-1 to one at the end of the second period. You would think that this game is over. Not only do they have a four to one lead to start the third period, but there is a four on three power play. And I will never be able to figure out why this year, this team is awful at four on three power plays. There was a play in that third period where Point would have had a breakaway. He got pulled down from behind and no call. Could have been a game changing play. And boy, it was a game changing play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matthews comes back at the other end, rips one past Vassy. That's probably the only one that Vassy could have saved, but that's a tough save to make on one of the best goal scorers in the NHL. Bogo with a not-so-timely trip. Uh, Ian Cole loses track of Matthews, who was their best player tonight. I don't know how you lose track of him, but it was only for a second and Matthews makes him pay. It's four to three, and I know everyone's getting the same feeling that I had Saturday night when Toronto started to make their comeback and we couldn't score in overtime. What do you think's going to happen? Well, Riley does it again. Uh, 
from the blue line, a perfect screen. There's no way Vassy can stop the puck if he can't see it. And this is once again where in the playoffs, you got to find a way to block that shot. There were so many bodies in between that shot from the blue line and Vassy. Somebody's got to get in front and help the goaltender if he can't see the puck. So that makes it four to four. Lightning just aren't getting much going. I think it was Nick Paul who had... Uh, he had like a, a little bit of a rebound shot. It was a backhand, misses the net from two feet out. That third line is a big problem. Look back to the last three years where the Lightning made the cup finals. What was their biggest strength or their secret weapon? It was that third line. The third line this year, go look at the stats. No points from Paul. No points from Janot. Their plus minuses are negative. Hey, when your secret weapon's not there, then you don't have a weapon. Not this year. So we go to overtime. Uh, the Bolts have already lost eight of their last nine playoff overtime games, which is absolutely amazing considering the run that they've been on. But we saw it Saturday night. We had chance after chance after chance. Couldn't put it away. Toronto did in the last couple minutes of overtime, and we lose game three in a heartbreaking fashion. Didn't take long in this game. We get the penalty from Sergachev. You can't blame uh, Sergei for that penalty. He had to take that penalty because um, uh, Willie was Willie Nylander was in a prime zone to score, and he is a sniper. So I love that. Um, I love that trip by Sergachev. I wish Sorelli made a play on the puck. Sorelli kind of just tried to dip in there. I don't know. Can can somebody lay out these little guys for for Toronto? Like Nylander's not a big guy. Matthews is a little bit bigger. How about we lay these guys out? Mitch Marner, why don't we hit these star players and make them think about taking these shots and going to the middle of the ice? Because they consistently try to get to the middle of the ice where you got most of the net open. They get traffic in front. They get uh, sticks on the puck. And they get those deflection goals. And that's exactly what happened in the power play. Another perfect deflection. Again, I'm not going to blame Vassy for this. There's a whole team of four or five players in front of him. Block a shot. Clear a guy out. These are the things that the Bolts are not doing this year. And now they're at the brink of elimination. So we've got to go up to Toronto and win a game that this team's been dying to have and win for years now. The pressure is on them. They have blown three to one leads, but this is a much better team than they had last year. This is a way better team than they had a few years ago. Um, so this is going to be a huge uphill battle. I will never count out the Tampa Bay Lightning until they are out of it, but it, it just seems different. The way that they've lost these games, you haven't seen this team lose games like this in the past. So we'll see. They're going to have to dig deep. Um, Cooch, I, I, I get him a shout out. Cooch, Cooch was wheeling and dealing. He played great. Um, got to score some goals. Point, got to score some goals. Stamkos, got to score some goals. Headman, got to shut him down. The Stars got to come out to play. The Stars are playing for Toronto. They're scoring goals. They're making things happen. That might be the difference in this series. We're going to find out. Game five's up in Toronto. Bolts are at the brink of elimination and... It's been a while since we felt like this. It's been a while since we've blown leads like this in the playoffs. Doesn't feel good, does it? We'll see what happens the rest of the series. Pressure's on Toronto, but I do also want to give them some credit for hanging in there, coming back, erasing a three-goal lead and winging it in overtime. And also Saturday night, they came back um, to erase that lead in the last minute and win it in overtime. So credit to Toronto. You can see them growing, and you can see them getting better and better. And the Lightning... It's just too inconsistent, and it's been like that all year. So we'll see what happens. The Bolts are not out of it till they are out of it, so do not give up on them. We'll see what happens. Game five is Wednesday. Go Bolts.